This is year 12 for you. You're dozen. 12. These things are flying by. They sure These are. You know, are and, and I don't think because of everything that's gone on with you and your career and how you're blowing up, you were the second draft choice of Andy Reid's in Kansas City after Eric Fisher. That's right, yeah, 2013 right? when he, uh, he came over from Philly. It was uh, Eric Fisher, and then uh, and then we didn't have a second round pick, but I was the first uh, first pick and taken in the third round. Did did he call you? Like, what was your draft? Like, where were you? Oh walk, yeah, walk me through your draft day. Oh yeah, I, I love telling the story. So I get a uh, I get a call from a Missouri number, and an Ohio kid like me had no idea that Kansas City was located in Missouri. <laughs> And uh, sure enough, I'm thinking it's the St. Louis Rams or St. Louis Rams because they were still in St. Louis at that time. Right. So I'm thinking I'm going to get a call from St. Louis, and I'm not going to lie, we had one or two guys from the University of Cincinnati go to St. Louis before, and it just wasn't the team. Just it, they didn't have any legs at that point before they moved to LA, and um, so I was kind of like bummed when I saw the Missouri number, and then all of a sudden I answer it, and it's Coach Reed, and it's just the most exciting. It, it went from like. I, I get to play for Coach Reed because I had heard so much good things from everybody in the Eagles organization that my brother was tied to. And obviously my brother had nothing but the best things to say about how great of a coach he was. And um, he immediately like kind of like centered my excitement. It was like, hey, are you going to screw this up? Are you going to? Am I doing the right thing by taking you? And I'm that's just getting immediately. He that's set what he the said. Bar. That's what he said. I promise you. I promise you. And then and then I I. I promised him myself that I really wanted to like be the best, best pick he ever had. I was just so thankful that he, uh, he's, he was taking a, taking a chance on me. And, uh, and then immediately he's like, all right, is your brother around? Put him on the phone. <laughs> and it was kind of like just reassuring him that, uh, that I was the right pick. And my brother was just, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He'll, he'll I'll make sure that he keeps his head on straight. So it was one of my favorite stories. So that was the, like, you, you didn't know it at the time, like the first ever episode of the New Heights podcast, pretty much right there, right? You're like <laughs> right piloting there. that. With, right there. With, with Andy Reid as your first guest. That is so cool. funny, man. And you are like the, you're the only guy on offense that remembers what it was like there in a post, a pre Mahomes era too. Oh yeah. You know? Oh yeah. I'm pretty, I might be, it's me and James Winchester, our long snapper. I think we're the only two left. From the uh, pre Mahomes era. Well, I mean, um, there's Jones on defense too, right? Chris Jones, I think, was he there a year before you? Or he something actually, like yeah, that? I think you're right. I think you're yeah. right. I think he yeah. did sneak in with uh, Alex Smith. Yeah, he, got he, me. he had. I will he had say his... this though, on the offensive side. On the offensive side, it's so funny seeing the offense be, you know, my first couple years, give Jamal Charles the ball. I always just tell everybody our offense is give Jamal the ball. Like we want that ball in his hands as much as possible. And now it's it's so much fun uh, letting Mahomes get the uh, keys to the car and see him just absolutely take over the league, man. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.